thank you for watching PCM Films. But if you are here to subscribe to this channel, you are not doing us any good. So support us by hitting the subscription button and press the notification bell. Thank you. God bless you. in my dictionary. I am not a loser. I can never be. Happiness, Esther, Ekaite, and Ademola. I am coming for you in a hard way. I am Elizabeth, the queen of the dark world. I crush and destroy anything that comes my way. I am a destroyer. Sometimes it is very difficult to bring some serious Christian down by the weapon of sin. But you can get hold of a serious Christian by the weapon of depression, carelessness, disobedience, self confidence, and rejection. Send her away. Ma, she can't be touched. Ha, huh. why? She carries fire. Ha! Anybody that tries to touch her will be roasted like a chicken. <laughs> but the dead did not need your service as a medical doctor. The dead does not need my service. Ma, we're not talking about a dead person here. We're talking about victims that need urgent medical attention. Iyawo, we go pop only girls champagne. Wagba. <laughs> Elizabeth, I am Sukab, the head of Region 7 of the Kingdom of our Lord Lucifer. I deserve some respect from you. Why is Kopapiness not picking my calls? Ever since you were posted to my department as a copper, I took you like a daughter. Why have you chosen to destroy the legacy I've built over the years? Oh, really? If you are tired of living in darkness, then put on the light in your house so that you can see. Dear, I hope these girls have not overstepped their boundary. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. Action. Sir, sir, please don't do this to me. <laughs> sir, you are old enough to give birth to me. <laughs> wow. What a wonderful performance. Esther. Don't go where you will not enjoy God's presence and backing. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my daughter. 
I'm happy to see you in my house. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Please have your seat. Are you okay? Never mind, ma. Esther, what do you like to eat or drink? Mm, don't worry. Ma, I will appreciate it if we can go straight into what brought me here. As I have told you on phone, are you okay? Uh, ma, please, where can I make use of the restroom? Okay. By your right hand side, you will see the visitor's toilet. Just a mission, a mission, a mystery. It is open up for the children of light. Just a mission, or no mission. A secret, it is open up for... Esther, are you okay? Ma, I will have to take my leave now. I will come back some other time to lead you to Christ. <laughs> but that was the reason you were here. Can't you do it before you go? Um, I don't understand... What is happening to me? I'm in pain. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Just a mission, a mission, a mystery. It is open up for the children of light. Just a mission, or no mission, a secret. It is open up for the children of life. Campus on fire. Can I know the air? a colonia. Oh, Valodiri, Zigiri, Atai, Aloya. Hello, sir. Ah, we are still on it, though. Ah, I don't know. Okay, Reverend, I will call you before I come, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. You are welcome, ma. <laughs> ma, the Kaite roommate called me and said my daughter had food poisoning and she has been hospitalized. I tried to reach her friend, happiness, but her lie are not going through. What is happening to these girls? Happiness also has a serious police case. As I speak with you now, she's in police custody. Police case? What happened? A patient died in her department, and happiness was accused of poisoning the man. <sighs> Poison again? I plan to travel to her place tomorrow to see her. The wife of the deceased is a son and has taken up the case. Ma, since they both serve in the same state, can you join me? Thank you, Ma. I will join you. You can come over to pass the night so that the driver can take us to the park as early as possible tomorrow morning. Okay, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Okay, Madam. Please sit down. <laughs> Huh? 
shift his team. Mm. It's okay, okay. Um, Queen, I have edited your voice out of the video. Now, all we have is Professor Ademola and Aru's voice and picture. Let me see it. Baby, I love you so much. If you can give your body to me, consider yourself having A in my course. But if you prove stubborn, like the other foolish girls, you will never graduate from this school. Mm -hmm. Good. Now drop it on Facebook and other social media handles. Mm. Tomorrow, the SCG we approach the school senate with the video. Dr. Ademola Oyelami, you are in serious trouble and there is no way you can come out of this. Hello, Papa James. Hello? Can you believe what I just saw on the Facebook now? What is that? Professor Ademola and a female student. I was just watching the video when your call came in. The video has gone viral. But I don't believe Prof can do such a thing again. Just two days ago. The new fellowship president, Bropo, called to inform me about the new occurrence in the school and the fellowship. I suggest we hold a special alumni meeting with some of the schools. We started this fight and we must finish it. Okay, I will call Brother Thomas and I will get back to you. Oh, that's good. Bye for now. Okay, sir. Thank you. God. If I had listened to the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't have fallen into this trap. Who will believe my own side of the story? What have I done to deserve this from no Cynthia? Lord, please have mercy on me. Vindicate me. Young lady, your mom wants to speak with you. Hello, mommy. Thank you. 
Your daughter is completely paralyzed, and we could not find the exact thing that caused it. I will advise that you take her home or to a prayer mountain for spiritual solution. Medically, our case is hopeless. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength and song. This cornerstone, the solid ground, firm to the fiercest drought and storm what I of love what depth of peace when fear are still when striving cease my comforter my heart in all yeah, in the love of Christ, I stand. <laughs> Baby, I love you so much. If you can give your body to me, consider yourself having A in my cause. But if you prove stubborn, like the other foolish girls, you will never graduate from this school. Sir. Sir, please don't do this to me. Hmm. Sir, you are old enough to give birth to me. Professor Ademola, how do I explain this? Prof, you are a great disappointment to parenthood and the institution at large. You are old enough to father this young girl. And you'll be going around the campus telling people that you are not a born again Christian. Be singing, what I used to do, I do them no more. Huh. That what you do before you do them no more. Ah, what an hypocrite. We thought you are a changed man. No matter how we clean a pig, it does not stop the pig from going back to the mud. And a dog will always go back to its vomit. Prof, you are not even different from a dog that runs after anything in skirts. Ah. Are you the only male lecturer in this institution? Sir, why have you chosen to bring this great shame to yourself and the institution? The news is on the social media. In fact, two reputable newspapers have carried the news. Well, since you have nothing to say, the panel will still investigate more on this. But Professor Ademola, if at the end of the day you are found guilty, I'm sorry for you. Because this institution will not hesitate to make you a scapegoat to other shameless lecturers like you. My chairman, what are we waiting for? It's not talking and the evidence is clear. Let's give him time and we investigate further. Okay, if you say so. The fool was just looking like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Andrews, make sure the panel teach the bastard the lesson of his life. 
let him rot in jail. I want to see how is Jesus will deliver him from this doom. Unless it's Jesus will stand for him in court and go to jail in his place. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Demetrius, yes. I respect your girls. They did a clean and excellent job. Kudos to Elizabeth. She drew the map. <laughs> girls, let's celebrate. Look, I cannot no longer withstand the public shame and ridicule anymore. Ademola, since we got married, I have never for once cheated on you. But you, you will always cheat on me, messing yourself up with those small, small campus girls who are not even old enough to be your daughter. <laughs> Ademola, let them in my way. And let me my way. Let me my way. Look, I cannot withstand it again. I will leave. <laughs> the Avenger is deadly and is scary. We don't describe it. Paul, what happened to you? Where are you coming from? From Cosmos. Why? Why did you leave us alone on the battlefield? Why have you surrendered your weapon when the battle is still very hot? All our heroes have been wounded on the battlefield. The enemy is winning the battle. <laughs> Joshua and the Israelites won the battle because Moses raised his hands up in the place of prayer. Prof Cosmos, please, please rise up. Join us in the fight. Please, raise your voice unto God on our
Mommy, I have told you the whole truth. Hmm. I know nothing about the death of the man in question. Mommy, hmm. please. Tell Daddy to use all his connections to get me out of this place. I have suffered much for what I know nothing about. I don't want to end in jail. <laughs> Daughter, you will not go to jail. Not when I'm alive. I know deep inside me that you cannot commit this wicked act. But the whole thing looks so real to doubt. Happiness, I need to see the prof in your department at the teaching hospital before she closed. Mommy, for the past few days that I've been here, I have not heard from my friend Ekaite. Let alone visit me. Mommy, I cannot do this to her. Mm. <laughs> Daughter, as we speak, your friend is in between life and death in the hospital. Mommy, what happened to her? According to what her roommate told us, she ate food poison. Jesus! <laughs> I have to go now. In the battle of life, there are two major chief enemies that Christian needs to contend with. And until these enemies are seriously dealt with, a believer will never have rest. Do you know why? Our adversaries never give up. King Pharaoh and the Egyptians, when they saw that the hands of God of Israel was heavy upon them, to the point of losing every first male child, they allow the Israelites to go out of their bondage. But the freedom that Moses and his people gained was temporary. When you cut a tree at the top, there is opportunity for that tree to spring up again and become a big tree because it is still rooted in the soil. But if such tree is obtreated, then it dies completely. Take the Bible on the stool and open it to the book of Exodus, chapter 14, and verse 5, and read it out. Exodus 14, 5. Yes. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servant was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this? that we have let Israel go from serving us. The Egyptians army and Pharaoh pursued the Israelites on horses and chariots. But on that fateful day, God, who is mighty in battle, wiped them away and buried them in the Red Sea. Ever since then, the Israelites were completely free from the Egyptians. The second chief major enemy is Saul. Saul was a threat and a great persecutor to the church in Jerusalem. He facilitated the death of Stephen in the book of Acts chapter 6. Indeed, Saul was a disaster to the believers in his day. He was on the same mission of persecution to Damascus when Jesus appeared to him and won his heart by saving him, Paul eventually proclaimed and preached the gospel he once stood against. 
and there was peace in Jerusalem and its environs. If any child of God or group of believers will be completely free from the stubborn enemies, then the first chief enemy, which is Pharaoh, must die. And the second chief enemy, which is Paul, must be saved and welcomed to the family of God. Thomas, the enemy that you and others have been fighting with back on campus is still alive and strong. So the battle continues. But it's so unfortunate that you all sang the song of victory and jubilee when the enemy has not hand over his weapon of war. Hmm. Ma, if that be the case, then I know what we need to do to make the fellowship and the school be at peace. Thomas, may I ask you, what is that? Hmm. Dr. Dimitrius must die and the agent of darkness troubling us and the school must die by fire and by thunder. Son, you have not gotten the point. It is not every enemy that will die. If Joseph had killed his brothers, tell me, who would carry his bone from Egypt to Canaan land? If Stephen has sought for the death of his enemies, how will Paul be saved? If the thief on the cross can obtain the mercy at the point of death, then there's no one God cannot show mercy on. Hmm. Do you mean God will have mercy on Sukab after so many lives she has wasted in our school? Son, it is your duty as a Christian to hand over all your enemies to God. And it is the duty of God and to decide the best judgment for such enemy. When you pray for your enemies and such enemies refuses to give you rest, then in the spiritual realm, your prayer becomes a cause of such enemy. And that was why Jesus encouraged us to pray for our enemies. On the other hand, if your enemy is cursing you without any just cause, in the spiritual realm, that cause becomes a blessing on you. From the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 2, what do you have there? Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. How be it? Our God turned the curse into a blessing. Can you say that? So, son, you should understand better now. Brethren, that was the revelation I got from the Holy Spirit when I was interceding for our brethren. After Sister Jessica shared the vision she saw about Sister Esther, Ekaite, Happiness, and Professor Ademola. Hmm. It is well. Once again, I want to appreciate every one of you for paying a great sacrifice traveling from different states to attend this special alumni meeting and a spiritual warfare. God bless you all. Amen. Also, I want to appreciate the president, Papa Paul, for holding the fellowship together. In spite of all these challenges, the Lord will strengthen you. Amen. When I arrived here yesterday, the president and I visited Esther. Beloved, I must confess, our condition is very critical. Hmm. Our mom told us that because the doctors could not find the exact thing that is wrong with her, that's why they brought her home, trusting God for divine intervention. Hmm. I met with uh, Professor Sack this afternoon to find out the situations of things with uh, Professor Ademola. The prof made me to understand that his case is an hopeless one because there is no clear evidence to prove innocent of the allegation leveled against him. 
the evidence those ladies put up was too real to doubt. Hmm. We all know that Professor Demola is now a Christian, but we still find it difficult to believe his own side of the story because that was the kind of life he lived before. If truly is innocent, God will vindicate him. Mm. But who are those girls? They are Dr. Demetrius' girls. Really? Can't it be a setup to deal with Professor Ademola? It's possible. Well, the deed has been done. What we need now is the way out. So that this river of destruction will not sweep our brethren away. <sighs> Any information about Sister Ekaiti and happiness? Yes. I was able to reach Ekaite through her roommate, Aisha. And she told me she's still in the hospital. And her mother has come to stay with her. But all efforts to reach happiness proved abortive. Her lies are not going through. I didn't believe Professor Cosmos is around. All this mess wouldn't have befallen us. Yes, but we have nothing to worry about. Our Lord Jesus is much around, and Holy Ghost is with us. We will continue to resist the devil. Our confidence is in God, not in a man. If only we were careful and, and watchful enough, we wouldn't have fallen into the trap. And we don't even know this is the way our enemy will strike. <sighs> you are right. About two months ago, I had a dream. I saw an unknown enemy spreading a mat on a very deep pit. I saw Sister Esther, Ekaite, and Happiness dancing and moving towards the mat. They eventually stepped on the mat and fell into the pit. When I woke up, I did not take the dream serious because I believed our sisters are spiritually sensitive and mature enough to know the plans of enemy. Well, I suggest we take a rest from our long journey and assemble here by 10 p.m. for prayers. It's not too late to fight back and claim our victory. Papa James, you are right. Please, Papa Paul, pray for us. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I know I am pain and suffering for my act of disobedience and self-confidence. But please, save a kite from death. Don't allow her to die. <laughs> when a Christian gives the enemy the privilege to walk in as a result of carelessness and unguarded hour, the enemy goes extra miles. Happiness. The three of you walked into the devil's trap with your eyes widely opened. The three of us what happened to Esther? Esther's case is even worse than that of Ekaiti, and it's only God that can say if she will survive it or not. Ah. <laughs> Samson the Mighty was captured and died in the camp of the enemy because he failed to abide by simple kingdom instruction and principles. <sighs> Mercy on us. <laughs> Please save us from this doom. <laughs> there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's way. The sinners flow 
washed beneath the flood loser guilty the afternoon, I chatted with Professor Cosmos to brief him of the current event and our plans to hold Fiji tonight. He said he will make a video and forward it to us before we commence the prayer. About 30 minutes ago, the video came in and I would like us to watch it before we go into the prayer. Okay. Hello, brethren. I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that His grace will keep us to the very end and give us total victory in this fight. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Before Brokele briefed me on the various attacks that happened recently, the Lord had already shown me what the devil was planning to do through his agent in the school. In addition, the Holy Spirit revealed the weapon with which we are going to fight the battle. Yes, brethren, yes, we are marching to the battlefront like Jehoshaphat. We are going to employ the weapon of praise and worship. Yes, brethren, the only thing we have to do before we employ the weapon, is just to ask God for mercy on behalf of our brethren. You see, some of them fell into the trap because of disobedience, self-confidence, and self-righteousness. You see, and this is a warning for all of us. For the Bible says, he that thinks that he stands, let him take it, lest he falls. May God be with all of us all. Amen. 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 So, uh, Brother Thomas, yes, sir. I would like you to take over now. Hmm. Brethren, let us be in the mood of prayer. Let's be in the mood of prayer. We are on the altar of the Lord. Let us just appreciate God for not putting us in the dark. Let's appreciate oh, him. Let's God. appreciate God for not putting us in the dark. Begin to appreciate God for not putting us in the dark. I appreciate God. I appreciate God for not putting us in the dark. We adore your name, O God. Thank you because it's not you as a night. Let us just honor him. Honor God. Honor him for showing us the way how. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name, Father. Oh, we reverence your name, God. I am that I am. We say thank you. Oh, Libre Cabasso to Lida Yaga Lideres. Mende Lika Riva Sata Lida Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let us just ask God for mercy oh, on behalf yes. of our oh, brethren God, and Lord, every one of us that has failed to do the useful on this issue. Lord, begin to ask for mercy. Begin to ask for mercy. Begin to ask for mercy. For standing our brethren and every one of us that has failed to do the useful on this issue. God, show us your mercy. Show us your mercy. Show us your mercy. And every one of us that have failed to do the useful. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. Daddy, show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we are praying. Amen. Brethren, now to our worship and praises, we are going to hand over the battle unto God. Oh, yes. The battle is of the Lord. Yes. Sister Jane. 
Please lead us in powerful oh. worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You are the mighty God. Oh. Oh. Don't oh. you young man and what have you come here to do i am the son of the living god and i'm here to set the captives free <laughs> it shall come to pass in that day that a body shall be taken away from your shoulder and a yoke from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Sukab, thus says the Lord, let my people go. <laughs> Can 
the prey be taken from the mighty, all the captives of the righteous be delivered. Thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood. Young man, who sent you? The one that parted the Red Sea. The one that pulled down the wall of Jericho. The one that answers by fire. The king of the universe. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The Lord of hosts, mighty in battle. Fearful to be praised. The light that shines in darkness and darkness comprehend it not. The tribe of Jesse. The lion of Judah. I am that I am. Jesus! With your toys, with consuming fire, and ghosts caught free, impossible. With your toys, with Yeshua. Was power and go in peace, impossible. Come, pause on fire. Your is the light of my heart. We need the Savior. We need the Savior. Come, pause on fire. We need your light. We need the light. my home i am just passing through my treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue the angels beckon me from heaven so and i can't feel at home in this world anymore this world is not my home i am just passing through my treasures are laid up so well beyond the blue the angels beckon me from heaven's open door and i can't feel at home Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Mommy? Yes. I'm going to heaven. Heaven? The angels are looking forward to have me. Mommy, the great crowd of witnesses are eagerly waiting for my arrival. Can't you see the host of heaven singing a welcoming song for me? This world is not my home. I am just passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. This world is not my home. I am just passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels. Hey, stop! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah, ah. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you, oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. Lion of Judah. As the cool embryo, he has given us the victory.
and they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. As a faithful servant, Stephen was dying in serious pains. He prayed unto God not to hold the offense against his persecutors. Stephen's prayers on that fateful day led to the salvation of a great evangelist, Apostle Paul. Cosmos, a Paul is about to be taken away. Daughter, it is time to go home. Which home? Ha. Huh. I don't want to go to hell. Please have mercy on me. Mercy? <laughs> there is no mercy in my kingdom. I am not seeking for your opinion. Either you wish to go home or not, inasmuch you had lived your life for me or not, eternal damnation is your final destination. Now, it is time to go. Demetrius, when I had the privilege, I stretched for the hands of help to you, but you rejected it. I introduced Christ to you when grace was very much available to you, but you turned your back against it. Why? Why are you refusing to heed God's call? Why? Why are you abusing the grace of salvation freely given to you? the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, stop destroying the destinies of innocent students on this campus. Please, stop setting this campus on fire. Many of our colleagues have died as a result of your mission in this school. <coughs> Mother, Jesus loves you and he doesn't want you to perish. Please, stop adding your heart. Come unto Jesus, and it shall be well with you. <coughs> Dr. Cosmos. Leave my office now! <coughs> Nonsense! Now, I have no power to help you again. Can't I have the same mercy and grace one of the things on the cross had at the point of death? Uh, if only I could have this last grace, I will live for Christ. Please speak to Jesus on my behalf. 
to give me this last opportunity to live again. It is time to embark on the journey of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Move! Lord Jesus, I know you don't desire that anyone should perish. But that all should come unto repentance. Lord Jesus, have mercy on Dr. Dimitras. Save her by your grace. Let your unfailing love locate her. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for Dr. Dimitras. Let your mercy prevail over judgment. Lord, don't let Dr. Dimitras perish. In the name of Jesus. Consider your death on the cross of Calvary. Demetrius. Why are you persecuting me? Why are you fighting me all along? Sir. Who are you? I am Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Ha! Huh. Jesus. I'm sorry. Have mercy on me. Please forgive me. If you can give me one more opportunity, I will live for you. I will serve you. Even if I'm not raised from this sick bed, just give me a chance to repent of my evil deed. I don't want to go to hell. For the sake of my children, I will allow you to live again so that you can bring them out of their captivity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You mean Dr. Demeritus came back to life? After he has been confirmed dead for six hours? This is unbelievable. Ah? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, immediately I get to the hospital. I will be coming over. Ah, ah. This is unbelievable. This is really amazing. Ah, ah. Simply amazing. Okay. Brethren, I heard from Sister Esther's mother that her condition has greatly improved. I trust God to perfect that which He has started Amen. in our life, Ekaiti and others. Amen. We have a very serious and sensitive assignment to carry out before we travel back to our various destinations. Professor Cosmos called me early this morning that we need to visit Dr. Demetrius to pray for her and lead her to the cross. According to him, he said, God has prepared her for a special assignment on this campus and most importantly, she's the only one that can rescue our brethren from the present trials they are now. Sir, do you think we are safe going to her house for any reason? Can't we commit her to God in our prayers here? Well, you are right. But no cause for alarm. If God be for us, who can be against us? <laughs> Brother Thomas, Sister Tari, and uh, Sister Jane, the three of you will stay behind to intercede for us. While myself, Papa Paul, Sister Jessica, 
we go to Dr. Demonstra's house for the kingdom assignment. Okay. No problem. This way. Better. Let's go. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And forgive me all my sins. And forgive me all my sins. Holy Spirit come into my life. Holy Spirit come into my life. Thank you Jesus for saving me. Thank you Jesus for saving me. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Man, you are welcome into God's family. Thank you. Brethren, I sense it in my spirit that God wants to perform a miracle. So let's switch into the realm of the spirit. Oh, Father, Father. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. We call for signs and wonders yes, 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 yes. in this place. Let your presence show in this place. Anointing fall on us. Your mercy we will see. Just like a day when the power parts the sea, your power remains the same. Yes, you never change. Baba Fia Gbara Reon, Fia Gbara Reon, Fia Gbara Oyoma, Baba Fia Gbara Fia Gbara Fia Gbara worship you how thank you for the miracle that you worship you elohim adonai thank you lord we appreciate you. oh jesus glory to jesus thank you jesus wow hallelujah to your name that they will bless your name Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Daddy, we adore you. We worship you. Hallelujah to your name. Wow. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Elizabeth. I have found a new faith. I have seen Jesus. I can't continue living in darkness again. I was completely paralyzed. But Jesus showed me love and had mercy on me. He healed me and gave me joy unspeakable. Daughter, I brought you into this darkness when I was blind. But now I can see clearly. The end of this journey is total destruction. Please come into the light of Christ. I once belonged to the way until a day I met a deliverance minister who took advantage of me and slept with me right in the church office. The so called man of God forced me to abort the pregnancy. Ma, 
It is too late for me to return to Jesus. No. It's never too late. In as much you are alive, you have the grace. Come unto him now, and the wound will be healed. Don't go to hell because of a pastor's sorrow. Ma, was that why you invited me to your house? Yes. I am sorry. I have to leave now. Also, I want us to bring Professor Domola and happiness out of the pit we kept them. I am Elizabeth, the queen of the dark world. I crush and destroy whatever comes my way. What you are asking for is not possible. The bridge has been destroyed, so no going back. Demon tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. You are great, you are great. Oh. You are great, you are great, you are great, you are great, Lord, you are great, 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 everything written about you is great. You Father, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, I want you Lord to prove yourself over the case of Professor Debola and Sister Happiness, Lord. You are the one that delivered me from the dungeon of darkness. You are more than enough to do exceedingly great. Father Lord Jesus, I want your intervention over this situation, Lord. This court at the last adjourned death has decided to deliver its ruling on the murder case levied against Dr. Happiness Peter. I have carefully listened to the submissions of the Prosecution Council and the Defense Council. The addresses of the councils, as well as the plea of allocutors by the Defense Council. The relevant sections of the Criminal Code, the breach of which form the basis of the present trial, has been carefully studied. The charge before the accused person is premeditated murder and the prosecution has proved its case by calling on two witnesses and the presentation of necessary exhibits. The court has received the autopsy report on the probable cause of the death of the deceased. It has also received testimonial evidence of a medical expert who attested the veracity of the claims in the autopsy, such expert opinions, according to the Evidence Act, are admissible in the law and this court has so admitted. The prosecution has proved its case of murder that happiness Peter killed the deceased, but the motive up till now has not been established. There are still no clear court evidences to absolve the accused completely of murder the law prescribes that a murderer be hanged in the neck until he be dead. Therefore, this is my judgment. Yes! Order! I will confess. George, Dr. Happiness is innocent. Hey. We set her up. Prof. I was the one that poisoned Mr. Ben.
And I Cynthia, where is Prof? I checked her office, but she's not there. Maybe she's on the ward round. Okay. Uh, she called me that there's an emergency case. Where is the patient? He's in the special ward seven. You are under arrest. <laughs> I said you are under arrest. You are a tree. I am a hair. The tree can be arrested by fire, but fire cannot be arrested by hair. <laughs> George, I sentence you to life imprisonment. Who dare toys with consuming fire? And go scot free. Impossible. Demons tremble at your presence. What the mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. You are great, 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 you are great. Lord, you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great. Everything, everything about you is great. So, Cap, how dare you fight against us? How dare you set our camp on fire? We stood by you, fought for you, carried you on our hand, and yet you have audacity to stab us at the back. Lord Lucifer has given us order to end your miserable life. Suka, you will pay dearly for betraying us. Yes. She is a betrayer. She betrayed darkness to embrace light. She turned her back on you to face me. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Demetrius belongs to me now. So you cannot fight her. Daughter, yes, sir. I have given you authority over principalities and powers. They are already in your court. Exercise your authority over them. As the daughter of the Most High God, I command the two of you to start fighting each other. Stop. Because I bear the mark of Christ, you cannot trouble me again. As comrades, my father is the consuming fire. So I command the fire of the Lord to consume every agent of darkness troubling me in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Daughter? Yes, sir. The battle is over. You can go back to sleep. Thank you, sir. Victory.
after two weeks of thorough investigations on the allegations levied against Professor Ademola, the panel have come to a conclusion that he is guilty of the crime. Many female students have testified to it that they have once been molested by him. If we allow this evil act to continue in our noble institution, then we jeopardize the future of this great institution. It is a pity that a highly respected professor like you, who's supposed to be a father to these young girls, is the one destroying their lives. This institution cannot tolerate such a callous and irrational acts like this. You are hereby dismissed from this institution and your professorship is withdrawn from you. Equally, you will be handed over to the police because this case has gone beyond the hands of this institution. Fellow colleague, I'm sorry for coming in unannounced. The truth needs to be told. Professor Ademola knows nothing about the allegation level against him. The whole thing was a complete setup. Arrow. Look at my face and tell me that it is true. Professor Ademola demanded to sleep with you just to give you a mark. Ha! Elizabeth! Ha! If you prove stubborn, I will pull the trigger. <sighs> Dr. Ademola Oyelami, I told you the next time you come my way, I will crush and destroy you. Whatever goes up comes down. Now, move close to her. Put your two hands on her shoulder. Ekoi. On your camera and start the video recording. Ah! Ah! Dr. Ademola Oyelami, tell her that you love her and if she give her body to you, you will reward her with a good grade. But if she refuses, she will never graduate from this institute. I would rather die than be blackmailed. Wow! Good! And so be it! Ah! Ah, Elizabeth, don't do this to me. Do what I asked you to do before I blow off your head. Baby, I love you so much. If you can give your body to me, consider yourself having A in my course. But if you prove stubborn, you will never graduate from this school. <laughs> Bro, why are you shaking like a small boy? Why is your voice breaking like I see? The network is not full. Your acting is too suspicious. And it doesn't look real. Even the dumb, we know that you are under duress. Now, make the acting so real by putting on a romantic smile and let your voice sound so cool, like a bedroom voice. Is that understood? Yes, ma. Good. Action. Baby, I love you so much. If you can give your body to me, consider yourself having A in my course. But if you prove stubborn, like the other foolish girls, you will never graduate from this school. Sir, sir, please don't do this to me. <laughs> sir, you are old enough to give birth to me. <laughs> wow, what a wonderful performance. Now go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. 
Dr. Ademola. Ha. Huh? Expect the season film very soon on social media. <laughs> Girls. Move. Ha. Huh. Jesus. What is happening to me? How do I come out of this? Dr. Demetrius, I like your game and smartness. And I also want to tell you that I love to play this kind of game. Who are you, young girl? Who gave you the order to walk into this panel? Mr. Prof, I don't have business with you. So if you love your family, you keep your dirty mouth shut. I am Elizabeth, the queen of the dark world. I crush and destroy whatever comes my way. Sukab, I advise you to say your last prayer. Because I'm dropping you now. Elizabeth, we can talk things out. Don't act funny. Why did you kill the patient? <laughs> ah, Cynthia, you are bad, bro. <laughs> doctor, doctor, doctor! Calm down. Let me give you injection. Injection. It should not pay you. It should not pay you. <laughs> Judge, you want to sentence me? I will sentence you to death. <laughs> yeah, come, my patient, come. Let me give you injection. To not pay you. To not pay you. Come. I'll give you a bed. Come. Come. Follow me. My patient, come. I will give you a bed. You will sleep on him. <laughs> yeah, lie down. Lie down. I should lie down. Lie down. Don't fall down. Take it easy. <laughs> no, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. I kill Dr. Ben. I kill Dr. Ben. I kill George. I kill George. Happiness. Ah. <laughs> Precious, but useless. Oh. Precious, but wasted.
sir. Last night, my husband and the children called that they'll be coming to Nigeria to come and spend some time with me. My husband has vowed never to return to me again. See how Jesus did it. Prof, it is a great miracle. Thank you, sir. Ladies, I'm so much grateful for your love and care. Indeed, it is sweet to be in Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, ma, girls, I'm famished. Ah, uh -uh. uh -uh. FFO for food only. Mm -hmm. mm. A kite, hold on. Doctor, be happy this. Pray for us. Mm. Shall pray. Father, thank you for this provision. Bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I can finally. Ha! Ah, mm. You can't even wait a minute. Mm. Oh, oh it's, 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 you need it. My girls, indeed, Jesus is wonderful and full of mercy. I can't stop imagining it that a wicked and wretched sinner like me can still be loved and obtain forgiveness from the Lord. See how you girls are taking good care of me. Showing me true love and relating with me as if I've never done anything evil to you before. Ma, that's Jesus for you. You know, the Bible says, why we are yet sinners, God demonstrated his love toward us and Christ died for our sins. So, it is not we, but Christ that lives in us. He made us to forget the pains of the past and give each one of us, including you, the hope of a better future. Ma, if not for his unfailing love and grace, we would have been wasted away in the world of sin like others. But His grace found us and saved us. Victory, sure. Victory.
Professor Demola. Please forgive your wife for the lack of trust. Dear, please, I am sorry. Forgive me. Please, forgive me. I'm sorry. <coughs> Dear, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> The answers to my prayer. I love you. No matter what may come my way, I love you. Even in my darkest part, I will always love you. You are my love. Together in harmony, I love you. Dwell together in one spirit, I love you. Let us teach your nature and then show happiness. You are my love. You are my love. You are my love. Forever, thank you, Jesus. Won't you God please? Family, please. In unity, in harmony. We shall be, we shall be. Can you God please? Won't you God please? Family, please. In Jesus' name, in harmony. We shall be. Oh